Hey everybody, this is Mr. Selfridge coming to you today from my office here at school. This is where I teach my music lessons to all my band students here at school every day. So today I wanted to do a little quick lesson to show you how to oil the valves of your trumpet. The valves of the trumpet are supposed to move very smoothly and quickly up and down. And in order to keep our valves moving smoothly and quickly, we use valve oil inside the valve casing here to keep things moving smoothly. If you don't oil your valves, your valves will start to get slow and sort of hard to push down and they won't want to come back up. And it gets very frustrating to try to play if your valves are slow like that. So let's learn how to oil our valves. We're going to need three things. Of course we need our trumpet right here. We need valve oil. This is valve oil that came in the trumpet case with the trumpet rental. This is just fine. And have some paper towels because we're going to get probably some valve oil on our hands. We don't want to get any valve oil on our clothing. We can use these paper towels to kind of protect and make sure we don't get any oil stains in our clothes. So first things first, we need to know that our valves each have a number and a specific order that they go. Valve one is the valve closest to your mouthpiece. This is one. Then the middle valve is valve two. And this is valve three. Valve number three is the one furthest away from your face when you're playing. And it's the one closest to the bell. One, two, three. We don't want to get these mixed up because then our trumpet won't work if we put them back in the wrong valve. Now we're going to unscrew our valve cap right here. Don't unscrew the button up top here. These will come off if you unscrew them and then you'll probably drop it. It'll roll across the floor. You might lose it. We don't ever need to take these valve buttons off. A repair person might need to, uh, but you don't ever need to do that. So let's just keep these valve buttons in place, not mess with those. Right here is where you want to unscrew. Now, if you have an older trumpet and maybe no one has unscrewed these valve caps in a long time, they might be really stuck. If they're really stuck and you can't get it turned, take it to your mom or dad. They might have stronger fingers than you. If they can't open it up, don't let them use a pair of pliers. No tools or power tools or anything. Take it to your band director, your music teacher, or to a music store, and they can help you uh, get this loosened up. So we unscrew here, and we're going to pull the valve out about halfway. You can oil your valve just like this, but I'm going to pull it all the way out to show you the parts of the valve. So here's the valve out of the valve casing. You can see, if you look closely, you'll see an engraving of the number of the valve. You see a number one there. There's also the letter S, and actually, I don't even know what that stands for. If anyone knows what that S means, let me know in the comments, okay? So we have our valve number one. Here is our valve guide. These little plastic tabs are going to help us put the valve back in correctly. And here's the main part of the valve that comes into contact with the inside of the valve casing. This is the part we oil. You don't need to oil this part. Oil the bottom part that's uh, wider. Let me show you how to do that. Now we're going to pick up our valve oil, and sometimes on your valve oil you might see this little child safety uh, mechanism here. This is because we don't want little kids uh, opening up valve oil and drinking it because it's not a good thing to do that. It's not meant to be uh, ingested. So just press that tab if you have it and twist the cap, and there we go. Now when we're actually applying the valve oil, you want to maybe use a trash can. You can put a trash can in front of you and do this over a trash can. You don't want to get oil on your clothes. Or you can put a towel down on your lap so we don't get any oil stains. So, we have our valve oil. We're just going to put five, six, seven drops on the wider part of the valve all the way around. Don't overdo it. You don't want it dripping down a lot. There's going to be some dripping, but don't overdo it. So now we have our oiled valve. Here's our trumpet. We're going to just slide the valve number one back into slot number one. As you put it in, just kind of shimmy it a little bit to work the oil in. Now, to make sure our valve is exactly in place, see these little 
plastic tabs that are coming off the side, those valve guides are going to click in place. There's a little notch inside the valve casing there. Put the valve down and just spin until you hear the little click and it stops spinning. Ready? Listen. There it is. I don't know if you heard it. It was kind of soft. Now that little valve guide has clicked into place into the little notch in here and your valve is going to be exactly right and working. So then we just tighten the screw cap here and we have a nice smooth valve. We repeat that with valve number two. If you look closely you can see the number two engraved on the valve there. Now as I said when you're doing this at home you don't need to pull the valve all the way out. You can pull it halfway out like this. Take your valve oil Drop, 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 drop. Work it in a little bit. Spin till it clicks. There it is. And tighten it like that. Valve three, let's do that real quick. Halfway out. Valve oil. Drip, 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 drip. Work it in. Spin. Click. Screw the cap on. And feel those smooth valves. That feels so good. And it makes it so much easier to practice and play your trumpet. You want to oil your valves at least a couple of times a week. Some people oil their valves every single day when they practice, and that's fine. Definitely at least a couple times a week. And if you have a rehearsal coming up, if you have a performance, just before that rehearsal starts, just before that concert starts, give your valves a little couple drops of oil so you have your valves moving nice and smooth and you can play your best for your concert.